Without a sense of caring, there can be no sense of community. Aster Fesahaya wanted to devote her life to caring for other people. In 1973, she began that journey when she graduated from nursing school in Eritrea. She spent the next year in Ethiopia, volunteering her services as a clinic coordinator for a medical mobile unit. In 1975, Astor was one of the first Eritrean women to settle in Toronto. It was difficult to adjust to a new culture. She was lonely, missed her family, and suffered discrimination when looking for a place to live. Worst of all, her professional qualifications weren't recognized. My main uh, reason for coming to Canada was to, to continue my education in nursing. Uh, however, uh, I had a surprise. I was told like my credentials weren't recognized. I had to take more, much more of the courses I took all over again and also t to uh, sit on a state board to be a qualified registered nurse in Canada. Not wanting to give up her dream of caring for others, Astor approached a community college. They advised her to pursue early childhood education. She took their advice and enrolled in the program and supported herself while working as a nurse's aide. Over the next few years, while starting her own family, Astor worked in supervisory positions at several daycare facilities. During this time, she developed expertise in anti-racism and diversity issues. In 1994, she was hired by Metro Children's Services as a program consultant, responsible for supporting and monitoring a group of child care and family resource programs. An Astor's area of particular expertise and special interest has really provided enormous benefits to the division because that's the area of working with um, issues of diversity um, and Aster in particular has been um, one of the key uh, staff who has driven that agenda forward um, both for the Children's Services Division and for child care in general in the City of Toronto. Aster conceived the Children's Services Annual Anti-Bias, Anti-Racism Resource Fair, which has now grown to a two-day conference with over 200 attendees. She was responsible for the development of Children's Services Anti-Racism Policy and Code of Conduct Guidelines for school-aged children in daycare. She is a respected resource for parents and child care and family resource staff. For Aster, community service is not just a job. A community activist, she's initiated several community development projects, been involved with neighborhood action planning, fundraising activities, conflict resolution, and in particular, provides advice and resources to immigrant women. Aster just volunteers her time and makes sure that she listens to people and um, takes care of what they need with very little need to be given back to. She's been a board member of several educational institutions and community organizations and received several awards, including the City of Toronto Excellence of Service Award for Volunteer Work, the Children's Services Award on Anti-Racism, and the Children's Services Community Involvement Award. Aster is currently pursuing her PhD at OISE, where she is involved in a black women's discussion group. When she's not spending time with her son and two daughters, she likes to travel. And because of the work that she's done, children in this city are going to have an opportunity to grow up in a world that's freer from racism. I, I'm not convinced that we're ever going to achieve the, the ultimate, but certainly Astor's contributions will ensure that kids have um, much more opportunity to grow up in a world where diversity is valued and they're to racism.